Hi everybody, it's Gemma and Jan. Welcome back to Pampered Wolf. Super treat today. I've, you know, I've got my mum back, so it's really nice. We're going to be doing all about sunscreens today, our favourite ones, ones that we've tried that we're not too keen on either. So there's a long list. So get a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and get comfortable. Okay, so before we jump straight into the SPFs, please make sure you have subscribed to my channel if you haven't already. Come and join the Pampered Wolf Pack. They are a super friendly bunch. Just click on that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. If you are new to my channel, hi everybody, I'm Gemma. This is my mum, Jan. Hi. I upload two to three videos on YouTube every single week and I'm also on Instagram if you fancy checking me out over there. It's at Pampered Wolf, all lowercase, no spaces. Okay, so we're going to be talking about both mineral and chemical sunscreens in this video and we're going to split them into two sections. Firstly, we're going to go to chemical sunscreens. A lot of people have a problem with chemical sunscreens because of the ingredients, not because they have a reaction to their skin. For me personally, I adore a chemical sunscreen and I far prefer them to mineral sunscreens, but it's all about personal preference and it's what you're comfortable with. Okay, so all of the SPFs that we're gonna talk about today, whether they are chemical or mineral, are all broad spectrum sunscreens, so they will protect you against UVA and UVB. So let's jump into the first one, which is the La Roche-Posay Anthelios Invisible Fluid. This is a 50 plus SPF. Let's do the important stuff first and then we're both going to tell you what we feel about this sunscreen, although I think you probably all know already because we've spoken about this one several times before. So this has six chemical filters in here. It's got ethyl hexyl salicylate, uh, juvenal T, tinosorb S and avobenzone, as well as a couple of others. The second ingredient in this is alcohol, so if your skin is super sensitive to alcohol, you may not like this one, but it doesn't have a fragrance, or rather the one that I have doesn't have a fragrance. There is one with a fragrance. This is the unscented version, and it doesn't have any essential oils in here either. So, what are your thoughts? I like it. Makeup goes on beautifully, sinks well into the skin. What's not to like? It's also quite affordable as well. Mm, it is. So this yeah. one at the moment is on offer. So I don't know when you're watching this. If you're watching this immediately, this one at the moment is on offer, I think for £13. And I will link the website below. But it's usually £17 and you get 50 mils. So it's a 50 plus sunscreen. It's a great sunscreen. Yeah, it really is. The majority of my face is actually normal now, but I do have those really dry areas. If I use this every single day, I do notice my drier areas start to look a little bit more dry, but uh, which doesn't happen with some of the other sunscreens that I'm going to talk about today, but it is a great sunscreen. And you don't get any dryness at all no, with this. None. No. Okay, so moving on to the next SPF, we've got one from Ultraviolet, which is a brand new company to me. Not quite sure if it's brand new out on the market, but definitely brand new to me. And I believe if you're in the UK, the only place you can buy this is on Space NK, but please correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. This one has got an SPF of 50 plus and it's called the Ultraviolet Queen Screen. Again, I'll put a picture of it on the screen for you now. So this has five different chemical filters in here. It's got octanoxate, Tinosorb S, Tinosorb M, and also it has titanium dioxide in here. So it's a little bit of a hybrid. It has some chemical sunscreens and also a mineral sunscreen in there as well. This does have a fragrance in there plus some essential oils. So if you are sensitive to fragrance and essential oils, you're gonna wanna give this one a pass, but it is alcohol free. And uh, this is great for anyone with super dry skin. This is absolutely amazing because it's very nourishing, very hydrating, and it feels feels really, really lovely on the skin. Firstly, your thoughts? I love the smell. I've just put some on my, the back of my hand and it smells like a flower shop. It really does. It's I think beautiful. it smells like palmer violets. Mm. Yeah, I love yeah. it. It's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely love it. Um, it took a little bit longer to soak into my skin, but 
Makeup on top of it is absolutely fine. No problems with it at all. It's great. I do feel like it leaves a little bit of a slip on the surface of the skin. You can still feel it. Mm. It's not greasy, but you can definitely still feel it. And just like my mum said, I just had to leave that little bit of extra time after applying this before I applied my makeup. And I'm actually quite surprised that you got on with this mm. as much as you did because I would not say that this was for anybody with a combination or an oily skin. I think this would be too much and yet you got on with mm. it. I really did, yeah. So I adored it. I also like the consistency and I will also show you that on the screen now. So it's very light, super, super lightweight, more like a serum consistency than a cream really got on with it mm. loved it okay moving on to the next one which is another product from ultraviolet now what i didn't mention before is this is an australian company and all the filters that are in here you can use in australia and australia is one of the places that tests out their sunscreens to the nth degree if they say a sunscreen is good that sunscreen is good. So this has an SPF of 50 plus and it's called the Supreme Screen Hydrating Facial Sunscreen. Now again, I'll show you the consistency of this on the screen now. It is slightly tinted. It's got four chemical filters in. It's got octinoxate, tinosorb S, tinosorb M and ethyl hexyl salicylate. This is alcohol free, but it does contain fragrance and essential oils. I don't think this one smells like Parma Violets. No. But it smells quite floral. It smells like you're on a beach somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's like um, a, an old fashioned sunscreen smells, I think. Really? Just nice. a little bit, not overpoweringly so, but it, it does smell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't tell you the price of the last one. Um, it's rather pricey. You get 50 mils, and this one is 36 pounds. And this one is in a similar price range. Again, you get 50 mils worth of product and this one is 34 pounds. So what were your thoughts, Mum? It's good for no makeup days, slightly tinted, although I prefer one that's a bit more tinted than that one. Um, my makeup went on fine over the top. It sinks in quickly. It's just the price really for me. Yeah. It's quite expensive. It was a little bit off-putting. Mm. I love this one. I really like it. I actually prefer it to the ultraviolet queen screen just because this one soaks into my skin far faster and it doesn't leave a slip on the surface of my skin. It's just really hydrating and it just feels really nice. I don't have anything bad to say about it, but it's rather pricey. Mm. It is pricey. Mm. Okay, moving on to the next chemical sunscreen. This one is by Paula's Choice. It's the Skin Restoring Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 50. So we'll just get the business bit out of the way and then we'll let you know our thoughts. So this has an SPF of 50, you get 50 mils. It's 34 pounds. It's alcohol free. It's fragrance and essential oil free. This one has five chemical filters, which include avabenzone, homosalate, and octanoxate, as well as a couple of others. Great for dry skin, and this one has niacinamide in here as well. So, what are your thoughts? Well, this was the very first one that I tried, and I absolutely loved it. It sank really quickly into the skin, about 30 seconds, and you're ready to go with your makeup. The makeup went on perfectly over the top of it as well. You really liked this one, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I did. I really liked that one. This is definitely one of those products that feels more like a moisturiser than a sunscreen. Mm. And you don't have to sit there for ages trying to massage it into the skin, hoping that it disappears. Yeah. It's just put it on, sinks in, get on with your day. Yeah. It's a great sunscreen. I wear this on my dry days and it's just superb. Okay, moving on to the next chemical sunscreen. This does not look like a sunscreen. This does not feel like a sunscreen, but it definitely is a sunscreen and it's a great one as well. In fact, I wish that I'd bought the bigger version of this. I bought the travel size version. This is from Supergoop and it is the unseen sunscreen. I'll show you a picture of it on the screen now. So this is an SPF 30. You get 50 mils in the larger version and it's 30 pounds. 
There are four chemical filters in here, avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, and also octocrylene in here. It's alcohol free and it's also fragrance and essential oil free as well. So if you have sensitive skin and you're not sensitive to the chemical filters, this is unbelievable. This is like a primer and a sunscreen in one. So, mum, thoughts on this one? Well, I haven't tried it, have I? No. Somebody kept it to themselves, didn't they? I'm really sorry. <laughs> but I've just put a little bit on the back of my hands and it feels beautiful. It's sort of like a creamy, it's, mm, what would you call it? Silicon. Yeah, but it's not It's not white, is it? Like a, it's... Like a clear gel. A clear gel, yes. It's a clear gel. <laughs> it's a clear gel. Um, and it feels absolutely beautiful. So I'm sure I will like that very much. I wish this was an SPF 50 because this would be on my skin all day, every single day. I do have it on today and it, your makeup just glides onto your skin after you've applied this. If you are looking for a sunscreen where your makeup just looks more airbrushed, this is the one. It's, it's just amazing absolutely amazing but again on the pricey side okay so that brings us really nicely into our next chemical sunscreen which is also our final chemical sunscreen within this video this is super budget friendly at six pounds for 50 mils this is by Garnier Ambre Solaire and it's their anti-dryness super UV it's got an SPF of 50 plus again 50 mils six pounds. It's pretty decent. This has six chemical filters in here. It's got Juvenal T, Tinosorb S and Ava Benzone. They're the main ones in here. Also has some others as well. This has alcohol as the second ingredient. So if you find alcohol quite drying on your skin, if you do have super dry skin, this may not be for you. However, there are other ingredients in here that will counteract that alcohol and make it a lot more of a nourishing formula than a drying formula. This is also fragrance and essential oil free and uh, slightly on the thicker side to all of the other sunscreens that we've been trying out. But that doesn't take anything away from this SPF. It's a great one, isn't it? Mm, it is. It's white, so you know, using the correct amount, it, it takes a while to get it to absorb. Um, and it took a long time to soak, well, longer to soak into the skin, I would say. But if you've got the time to leave it, the makeup goes on fine afterwards. And I liked it, especially because it's affordable. Mm. You know, it's it's cheap as chips, isn't it, that? It's, it's mm. really affordable. It's a really good SPF. I didn't have a problem with it soaking into my skin, but that's probably because my skin's a lot drier than yours. Mm. So mm. There's nothing wrong with it at all and it's six pounds yeah. okay moving on to the mineral sunscreens the first one we're going to talk about is from aven and this is the tinted mineral fluid so you get a 50 plus spf in here 40 mils worth of the fluid and it's 18 pounds 50 so sort of mid-range to what we've been talking about all the way through this video the spf ingredients in here are zinc oxide nano and also titanium dioxide nano this is alcohol free and it's also fragrance and essential oil free so this is quite tinted isn't it mm, yeah so and it was the first mineral one that i tried and i was quite surprised at how tinted it is it's quite dark it's very sticky. It took a long time to soak into my skin. And I was in a rush that day and I needed to get my makeup on. So after about three quarters of an hour, I thought, well, I'm just gonna have to blot this. So I blotted it all over and put the makeup on. I suppose it was all right, but it, you know, when you go out and you think, actually, I don't feel my best today. That was one of those days. And I'm sure it was to do with that. I way. don't like anything that doesn't sink into my skin fully, especially when it's tinted because I just feel like I'm going to rub off on people. You know, if I feel like I want to give them a hug and they've got a white top on, do I actually want to get sunscreen mm. all over them? And I also like to put sunscreen all the way down my neck. So if you do have my skin tone, if you are my foundation skin twin, this is probably going to be way too dark for you. 
I don't like getting anything tinted on my clothes and for that that ruined it for me because it was just way too dark but if you want to give yourself a little bit more of a tan you might like this but uh, yeah, it was a fail for me mm. I, I didn't like it moving on to the next one which <laughs> I really really don't like so laying all my cards out on the table I hate this one and that is a strong word for me I really don't like it I really really don't like it so this is from Drunk Elephant yeah. and it is the Umbra Tint Physical Daily Defense it's got an SPF of 30 in here you get 60 mils worth of product and it's 30 pounds so the SPF ingredient in here is zinc oxide it's alcohol free it's fragrance and essential oil free on paper I should absolutely love this oh, I just really didn't like it it's quite deep I thought anyway the tint but I found it quite lumpy in consistency it took forever to get the lumps out of it and to massage it into my skin and it didn't look very nice and makeup didn't go over it very nicely either so I wouldn't wear it on no makeup makeup days and I wouldn't wear it underneath makeup either. It was a, just a major fail for me. <laughs> I really didn't like it. How about you? Well, I've just put a little bit on the back of my hands and actually it feels a lot better on the back of my hand than it did on my face. Um, I found it very, very greasy and it was quite dark. Uh, it took ages and ages for it to sink in. I wouldn't buy it, no. This is one of those products that, I mean, you know I'm an SPF girl, I wear it every single day of the week. So I try and make SPFs work for me because I buy a lot of them and I want to get my money's worth. This for me, I would never put on my skin again yeah. to the point where I would probably put it in a drawer and forget about it. I just, I don't even feel like I would be comfortable giving this away. Do you want it? <laughs> <laughs> stuff you don't like <laughs> let you make it work <laughs> <laughs> i'll give it a go okay moving on to one that i actually liked <laughs> this again is from ultraviolet and it is their lean screen mineral mattifying fragrance free sunscreen they call it a skin screen which i think is really clever so this one has a protection of 50 plus you get 50 mils worth of product and it's 34 pounds Again, this is mattifying, so it's great for anybody that has a slightly oilier skin or a combination skin. The protection ingredient is zinc oxide. It's also alcohol-free and fragrant and essential oil-free as well. So this one doesn't have the fragrance of the other two that are from Ultraviolet. So um, completely fragrance-free. So also great for anybody with a sensitive skin as well. What are your thoughts? Um, I liked it. Um, it's a good shade for me as well. It's it's quite a light shade. Uh, it looked fine. It sank quickly into the skin and my makeup went on fine over the top of it as well. I used the Ordinary foundation as well, so it wasn't an expensive foundation. Um, and it looked fine. It looked fine. So I'm not always a fan of mineral sunscreens. They're not my preference. I really like chemical sunscreens. But if I was sensitive to any of the chemical filters, I would use this one a lot more regularly because unlike a lot of other mineral sunscreens I don't find this dries out my skin and that is a big thing for me with mineral sunscreens usually after a few days wear my skin is dry as a bone so um, I, I like this one for that aspect also just like my mum said this is actually quite a fair tint so I can wear this on its own with no issues whatsoever. It's not too dark for me. Mineral sunscreen should not have a white cast and because all of the ones that we've been testing are tinted, none of them have a white cast. So I, I like this one. Definitely doesn't dry out my skin. Okay, next one. This is again from Paula's Choice. I, you know, if you've watched my channel for a long time, you will know that I pretty much swear by anything from Paula's Choice because 
everything that is in her products is top quality ingredients and she doesn't put unnecessary ingredients in her products which I really really like. So this one is the Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense. It's broad spectrum SPF 30 and it's also a mattifying SPF. So again, if you've got combination skin or oily skin, you will probably absolutely love this. Also, if you live in a humid environment, again, this is probably one that you're going to want to check out. So you get 60 mils worth of product in here. It's 34 pounds and it's SPF 30. The protection ingredients in here are zinc oxide nano. It's alcohol free and it's also got no fragrance or no essential oils in here either. I, I really like this one, but what are your thoughts? Well, I've got mixed feelings about this one. Um, when I first put it on, it, it felt lovely, very, very hydrating. Um, nice matte finish as well, even though it felt quite tacky to the skin, it looked quite matte. But when I put my makeup on, it looked dreadful. I tried it with two different foundations, neither of them worked. The following day, I tried it with a different foundation again, and it looked fine. So I'm a bit confused about this one. It feels, I've got some on the back of my hand, and it's absolutely gorgeous. In fact, all the wrinkles on my hand have disappeared. It's one of those strange ones. So I know people, and Stephanie Marie is one of them, who I who absolutely love this and this is their go-to because this feels like a primer on the back of your hand. It's hydrating and yet it's mattifying and I'm not quite sure how she's done that to be quite honest. Again, it's, it's not my go-to because I tend to prefer a chemical sunscreen rather than a mineral one, but really like it. Okay, so the final mineral SPF in this video, before we start talking about our favorites and which ones we would personally buy, goes to the Inky List. So this is the Inky List Mineral SPF 30. You get 50 mils of product and it's £14.99, so super affordable. The protection ingredient in here is zinc oxide and it's also alcohol, fragrance and essential oil free. What makes this one slightly different is this one has a lot of hydrating ingredients in here as well to try and counteract the drying properties of the mineral SPF ingredient, which are glycerin, squalane, aloe vera and also panthenol in here. So some really calming, really hydrating and nourishing ingredients in this formula. Now I don't have this to show you the actual formula because I gave it my mum and you've used it all haven't you? Mm, I have yeah. So uh, I'm going to pass you over to my mum to tell you what are your thoughts. Um, I really like it. You've got to be relatively careful though. I haven't got a dry skin but if you use it every day I did find that it was a bit drying so you know it's, it's, it's really nice though. Not and it's less. a really nice primer-like consistency for underneath your makeup. So you found mm. that your makeup yeah. went on really no nicely. Problem. Yeah. A little bit like the Australian Gold. Very similar in consistency to the Australian Gold SPF that used to be your holy grail. Mm. So really, really nice, but slightly on the drying side even though it's got all those really nice hydrating and nourishing ingredients in there they are definitely needed because without those you would just be like the Sahara Desert. <laughs> Okay, so we've been through all the ones that we've been testing out recently. Now is the time where we can tell you our ultimate favourite. So, Mum, favourite chemical sunscreen if money was no object. Okay, Paula's choice every time. Mm. It yeah. was definitely a hit. Mm. So the Skin Restoring Moisturiser. I, I'm in love with quite a few of these and they're just phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. But for everyday wear, it's got to either be the Paula's Choice Skin Restoring Moisturiser, the same one as my mum, or the Ultraviolet Supreme Screen, su <laughs> Supreme Screen Hydrating Facial Skin Screen, because, I mean, this is just phenomenal. I love both of these, you couldn't go wrong with either. Okay, so next, mineral sunscreen. If money was no object, what's your favorite mineral sunscreen? Ultraviolet Lean Screen. And uh, my one, I did like the ultraviolet, but I also really liked the Polish Choice Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense. 
I'm going to go for the ultraviolet light, my mum, because this is an SPF of 50 rather than the SPF of 30 that's in the Polish Choice. So that just swings it for me, but I do love them both. Okay, so if budget was an option, what would be your favourite chemical budget-friendly sunscreen? The Garnier Ombre Solaire. And what about the mineral one? The mineral one, I'd go for the Inky List. The inky list is nice. Mm. Just too drying on my skin. I just can't, yeah. I can't properly use that every single day. I would pick the same chemical sunscreen though. I, I, I do love the La Roche Posay, but I just think they both are absolutely amazing and this one's half the price. They are our ultimate favorite sunscreens. We've tried out a lot this year. Yeah. This has taken forever. <laughs> it's been really, really nice to actually get sat next to my mum again. Yeah. So I hope you've all enjoyed that. Don't, I'll get emotional. <laughs> so once again, really hope you've enjoyed this video. Have you enjoyed it? Yeah, really, really enjoyed it. And hope to see you all in the next video. Bye, everyone.